guys, so I'm back, and today we are going to be looking at the Captain America Civil War Pop Funko line. Now you guys know I constantly talk about these because sometimes they reveal a little bit about the movie or some different interesting things about it, so well, let's get into these. Now, as I talk about these, I'm just going to have them scrolling by, so I'll just talk about them in general. Um, we have a Captain America that pretty much looks the same as the one that we had in the last figure line, which was, of course, for Avengers Age of Ultron. Nothing really different here that I'm seeing. I mean, there probably is like a different shade of blue and an extra red line, but, you know, that's about it. Standard affair. Uh, Iron Man in his new armor looks pretty slick. Uh, then we have War Machine. He's carrying some sort of weird like sword weapon type thing. I don't even know. We've seen that before. Uh, it should be interesting to see whatever the hell that does. Uh, maybe it makes me think that, you know, maybe that's the Warhammer that they were referencing in that one thing, and, you know, because they have, obviously, his war machine, but there was an article that called him Warhammer, so maybe this is what they were referencing, and that's his weapon. Uh, there's another one that's, uh, Black Panther. He looks pretty damn awesome. I love that Pop Funko figure. I really can't wait to get it. And then we, of course, have Black Widow. It looks standard, nothing really special about it. Um, Wanda, we have, you know, her as Scarlet Witch. Uh, her pop looks very, um, look, they introduced, you know, the new outfit she has and everything because the Age of Ultron one had her normal street clothes she wore for most of the movie. Then we have Agent 13. She has a pair of batons, which we've seen uh, kind of, I don't know, resemble like the ones that maybe Bobby would use, uh, honestly. So maybe these are also somehow special like hers are. We, of course, have Winter Soldier. Uh, this is Maskless Buffy. He looks pretty damn awesome. And then we have uh, Crossbones, who comes in a couple variants. Um, we have normal crossbones, then we have one where he is scarred and burned underneath the face. We've seen this before, you know, that's why he wears the mask, so it's pretty awesome. It's the results of, a, uh, you know, Cap scarring him. And then we have some of the variants, which is like Captain America in an action pose, Iron Man with his, uh, you know, visor open, Falcon flying, uh, normal crossbones with, like, damaged, uh, you know, helmet. And last up is Black Panther without the uh, mask on. So, pretty awesome lineup here. Uh, definitely a great set. Now, we have heard rumors that Giant Man is in this, but my speculation is leading me to believe that Giant Man is probably going to be bundled in with the Marvel Collector Corp box, uh, much like the Hulkbuster was. So, there it is. Um, pretty awesome set. I'm definitely going to pick up a few of these. I know my wife's going to want to get all of them, because if you guys follow her channel, you'll know that she's obsessed with them. So... We'll see uh, how these look in person and if they uh, reveal a Spider-Man one anytime soon. So thank you for watching the video. And if you guys like what you saw, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you haven't already, check out some of these other great videos we have on the channel. Just click the annotation right there. It'll take you to them. Thank you for watching, guys, and have a good one.